Welcome back to the Booze Buddy Update for Tuesday, May 24th of 2022. Growlers are free, the five whiskeys you need, and THC teapots. It's brought to you by Green Mountain Payments, helping local business owners save thousands of dollars by providing complimentary credit card processing equipment and zero-cost credit card processing. Visit GreenMountainPayments.com or POSN0.com today. Well, Minnesota is one of the states been fighting some archaic laws that prevented craft breweries that were successful and made over 20,000 barrels of beer a year from allowing any to-go sales of growlers, four-packs, and six-packs. It led to the Free the Growler movement, and the good news is those sales are now legal for the five breweries who had hit that limit. It's been raised to 150,000 barrels, and it gets better. Cocktail rooms and bottle sales are now legal for distilleries who produce in the state. Tattersall Distillery had actually moved their production out of state due to the restrictive laws. To get more and to celebrate this latest freedom, you can head over to the show notes. And the next story, we've got a discussion on Reddit that inspired it. It focuses on how many bourbon bottles you actually need. Well, Maker's Mark, Elijah Craig, and Wild Turkey are among the recognizable names on this list of the five that you really need. But where do they fit in? They are the one you keep, something great, a cheap mixer, impress your guests, and the daily drinker. See if one of your favorites landed on this list and where. Do you agree or disagree? Well, it'd be a tasty argument, that's for sure, because I don't think there are any losers on this list. And teas aren't reserved for Brits or sweet teas down south either. They can also dance with the devil's lettuce cannabis. Yeah, Boston Beer has launched teapot cannabis infused iced tea. Oddly enough, it won't start releasing in Massachusetts, where I believe it's legal, but maybe not. It'll actually be released in Canada. It will also have different strains for different times of the day or just different vibes. Good Day Iced Tea will be the first release. It has lemon black tea and Pedro Sweet Sativa that's grown in Canada as well. It's a smart idea as cannabis infused beverages have seen an 850 percent growth up north boston beer company didn't want to wait for the regulations in the state to catch up to our neighbors and they seem encouraged by the cannabis beverage category so i'm sure we'll see more from them and hopefully it won't be dangled just across our northern border soon you can get more at the link that is in the show notes remember to like comment and subscribe don't drink and drive stay safe drive sober and support the booze that supports your local community and I'll be back again tomorrow.